In this video, let's install Visual Studio 2022 and the front end of SQL Server reporting services. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of filecats.co.uk. SQL Server has got two areas. The first is the back end. So this is SQL Server. So this could be SQL Server Developer, for instance, which is available at no cost. But there's also the front end, the bit that you use. And in this video, we're going to install that front end. Now, if you haven't already installed SQL Server, that's the back end with SSRS, then please have a look at the link at the top of this video for how to download and install for free SQL Server Developer. In order to use SQL Server Analysis Services, Integration Services, or Reporting Services, you need a front end. And the front end that is usually used is Visual Studio. So this is Visual Studio 2022, which is released in November 2021. So the next release probably won't be for two or three years. Now, this is the first release of Visual Studio that has got some more demanding requirements. So you need Windows 11 or Windows 10 with the version 19 or 9 or higher, or Windows Server 22, 2019 and 2016. Additionally, you need a 64-bit version of Windows. So if you've got an older machine, then I'm afraid you won't be able to install Visual Studio 2022. You can find out what you've got by going to Explorer, right and clicking on PC or this PC, and in your PC, it should say somewhere whether you've got 32-bit operating system or 64-bit. If you don't have the minimum requirements, so you've got Windows 7, Windows 8, or you've got a 32-bit operating system, then you can install Visual Studio 2019. Now, additionally, you do need a bit more hardware than previous versions, but it's not too bad. Minimum of four gigabytes, but they recommend up to 16 gigabytes. I would say eight gigabytes is more usual as a minimum, and a 1.8 gigahertz or faster 64-bit processor, but not an ARM processor. However, that's the vast majority of modern computers. So what I'm going to do is go to visualstudio.microsoft.com forward slash downloads. Now, the reason I've come to this downloads page as opposed to just going to the first page I came across is if you can't install Visual Studio 2022 and you need to install the earlier version, 2019, then in this downloads page, go to near the bottom and we've got older downloads. If you click that and scroll down again, you can see that we've got the older versions and there is 2019. So you need a free Visual Studio subscription. So if you don't have one, then you can create one. And then when I click on download and potentially have to log in, you can then go to this download page and you can download the Visual Studio Community 2019 edition just click download and most of the functionality will be the same as in the 2022 edition, especially things like the GUI, the graphical user interface that you use to interact with Visual Studio. So if I just go back a few times, I go back to this download page. So that's how you can download the earlier versions. So let's go back up and let's download Visual Studio 2022. Now you can see that there are three different versions. The professional version will cost you around $800 or $40, $45 a month. Enterprise a lot more. However, the community version is completely free. So it says a free download as opposed to just a free trial. So I'm going to click on free download and in just a few seconds, we'll get notification that it is downloading. Now this is just the bootstrap. This is the minimum bit. So it's not the full version. So I'm just going to now minimize everything except for this. So we need to set up a few things to start your installation. And here it comes. Now, Visual Studio has an update every two years or so. So before 2022, there was 2017, then 2015, and I think it was 2012 before that. And the versions, they change a little, but with regards to SQL Server, they aren't huge changes. There are more changes for if you're using languages like, for instance, C Sharp or VB.net. So here we are in what you want to install. 
And the reason this exists is because there's so many different environments you might want to set up, so many languages you might want to be using, like ASP.NET, C Sharp, Visual Basic, F Sharp, and all the rest. Additionally, you can install language packs and individual components as well. You can also say where you want it installing. So there's only one workload that I want installing for the purposes of this video, and that's in other tool sets, and it's data storage and processing. Connect, develop, and test data solutions with SQL Server, among others. And you can see it's now installing these optional elements, and the total space required is four gigabytes. So I'm going to now click Install, and it's going to be downloading them and installing automatically. Now, there's an awful lot of packages that it's going to install. It's going to be in the hundreds, so 264. And you can see it's going to download right now one gigabyte. So it's a bit of a waiting game. So what I'm going to do is continue the recording, but I'm speeding it up, and then we'll see what happens. Now, Visual Studio has had a major update every two years or so. So we've got Visual Studio 2022 released in 21. We've also had Visual Studio 2019, so that's the last 32-bit version, and then 2017, 2015, and I think it was 2012 before that. And the versions for what we are doing in the SQL Server world, they change a little, but there aren't huge changes, especially at the introductory to intermediate level. Right, so now it's finishing up and you can see that the start after installation is checked. And so now if I minimize this screen, you can see that it is now preparing for the first use. And there you go. Visual Studio 2022 has now been installed, but we haven't yet installed the SSRS extension. So let's do that now. Just click on continue without code to get to the main screen. And then we can go to extensions and manage extensions. So you'll see that there are some extensions already installed. So if, for instance, we've got the SQL Server data tools that we installed as part of the installation of Visual Studio. So let's go back to the Visual Studio Marketplace and I'll just type the word reporting. And there we can see by Microsoft, and it's not a trial like the others, the Microsoft Reporting Services Projects 2022. So click on it, then click Download. So it will download into your Downloads folder. So it takes around 40 seconds, and you can either click on it in your web interface, or you can go to Downloads, and there you can see it. So I'm going to double click it, and the first thing it tells me is that there are some programs open. And one of those programs is going to be Visual Studio 2022. I do want to allow this app to make changes. I'm going to say yes. So while we use Visual Studio 2022 to find this extension, we can't have it actually open while it is being installed. So here you can see, the digital signature, Microsoft Corporation, Microsoft Reporting Services Project is going to install to the version of Visual Studio that you have, the 2022 edition in this case. Click Install, and you can see waiting on these processes to shut down. So what you need to do is close down Visual Studio, and all of these will shut down. There we go. So the installation of SSRS is fairly swift. Now, of course, this is the front end to SQL Server reporting services. For this to work, you will have needed to install SQL Server itself, either the developer edition or another edition which has got SSRS and also installed that component into SQL Server. So you can see now it is finishing up. So it's taken around a minute. And there the installation is complete. So I can click close and then I can reopen Visual Studio 2022, and it is now installed. So that's all of the installation that we need to do for this course, apart from downloading and installing some data. But for now, we have installed SQL Server Developer Edition, we have installed Visual Studio, and we have installed the SSRS extension into Visual Studio. And it is now installed. So 
If you want to use it, we can continue without code to get to this same interface and then go to File, New Project, and you can see the Report Server Project Wizard and the Report Server Project. So you can click on either one of those two, name your project, click Create. And now you can start creating your data sources, data sets, and reports. Now, if you would like help creating these reports, then please let me help you. In my Udemy course on Microsoft SQL Server Reporting Services, we will be looking at creating our first report. We'll be formatting, sorting and grouping, looking at visibility and table headers. We'll have more advanced techniques, including conditional formatting, indicators, gauges, totals, interactive sorting, and the document map. We'll look at graphical reports, object properties, and functions. Find out why this course is one of Udemy's bestseller courses on SSRS. There is a link to this course in the description. And I look forward to seeing you in the course. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you like it, then please click the like button. And why not subscribe and click the bell next to it so you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you for watching this and keep learning.